Hey guys, how you doing? It's Austin Stars here and today I'm bringing you guys a quick video to help you figure out your perfect sensitivity for Black Ops 3. Okay, so recently a friend of mine showed me a video of someone playing Call of Duty who played on a 14 sensitivity and this guy was absolutely insane. Like, his aim is better than any person's aim that I've seen ever play Call of Duty. And after watching this, we both increased our sensitivity by a couple of points. And it just got me thinking back to the days when I first started playing Call of Duty and I had no idea what to do for my sensitivity or how to improve my aim or anything like that. So I thought I'd make a video to share this with you guys and hopefully it'll help you out, improve your aim in Call of Duty and just make you a better Call of Duty player. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about quickly is what is your sensitivity? So I know like 90% of you guys are saying, what are you talking about? We all know what our sensitivity is. We're all Call of Duty players, why are you even trying to explain this? But for newer players, this isn't really an obvious thing. So, I remember when I first played Call of Duty, because it was the first sort of um, online competitive game, I would say, and also the first um, game I played on my PS3, I had no clue what sensitivity was. When someone asked me, the first time someone asked me what's your sensitivity, I had no clue what they were talking about. I was like, it was like, I just had no clue what they were talking about. And I don't think this is actually that uncommon, because... I mean, it is a gaming term, if you've never played a game, if you've played like League of Legends or Counter-Strike or any game on the PC where you have a mouse sensitivity, and then you come to Call of Duty, you probably know what a sensitivity is, because you've heard about it there, but if this is your first, if this is the first real game you're playing, then you probably don't know what sensitivity is, and so I'm going to explain that for those new players just really quickly. So basically, what a sensitivity is, is it's basically a number, in Black Ops 3, it's between 1 and 14, um, this range has been different in other Call of Duties, it's been 1 and 10, it's also been 1 to 20. But in Black Ops 3, it's 1 to 14, and the number dictates how fast your character moves in-game when you move your analog stick. So, for example, if you have a 14 sensitivity and you move your analog stick, your character is going to turn a lot faster than if you move your analog stick and you have a 1 sensitivity. Alright, so what do I think is the best sensitivity for you guys to play on? So, firstly, what I want to say is there is no 1 sensitivity that is the best sensitivity. Um, if you play on a 1 sensitivity and that is the best sensitivity you can play on, you've tried others and it's not good, then... By all means, go for it. If you play on a 14 sensitivity like this player my friend showed me, I wish I could remember his name because I'd like to link you the video where you can see how good his aim is. But if you play on a 14 sensitivity, a 1 sensitivity, a 10 sensitivity, it doesn't matter. If it fits you, then that's all you need to know. The best sensitivity for you is the best sensitivity for you. And that might not make sense. It might be a bit confusing. But basically what I'm trying to say is don't copy someone else's sensitivity because because FaZe Rain plays on a 9 sensitivity. I don't know if he does or not. But don't copy it just because that's what he plays and you think, oh, he's good at Call of Duty, I should play that sensitivity. Because that's not how it works. Your sensitivity is personal to you and everyone's sensitivity is different. The rule that I think you should stick to though is you should have the highest sensitivity possible while still being able to have an accurate aim. And the only way that you can find this out is by experimenting with your sensitivity. So before I recommend a way for you guys to find your best sensitivity, I'm quickly going to go over the pros and cons of a high and a low sensitivity. So it's actually not that complicated, it's pretty basic. There's basically one main reason why you'd want a high sensitivity and a main reason you'd want a low sensitivity. So the reasons for a high sensitivity are, you can turn on people easier and you can swap targets easier. So what I mean by this is, um, I mean you guys have all seen clips or videos where someone's running in Call of Duty, they get shot at from behind, they turn around and just kill the guy. And it's like, people get so hyped over that because that's like, You've just shown that your skill is so much better than the person that you've just killed. And I think this is the main reason why people are so attracted to a high sensitivity. Also sniping, if you're into quickscoping and stuff, you've probably heard that a high sensitivity is better for you. And this is true for the reason that it helps you to switch targets easier. Um, what I mean by this is, let's say you run around a corner and there's two people. There's one on the left of your screen and one on the right. Um, you can't kill them both at the same time, so you need to pick one to kill first, and as soon as you kill him, you need to swap to the next target and kill him as well, which can be very hard if you're on a low sensitivity, and having a high sensitivity makes this a lot easier. Alright, so then what are the benefits of a low sensitivity? So the main benefit to a lower sensitivity is you can make fine adjustments to your aim while you're shooting someone while you're in a gunfight, and it's also easier to aim at a longer range with the target smaller, and you don't want to make as big movements. Alright, so now that we've seen the pros and cons, let's get into it. This is the way that I recommend you guys find your best sensitivity for Black Ops 3. So the first thing you're going to have to do is look at your sensitivity right now. Um, you do this by going, you're pressing start, you go into settings, control settings, and then 
In Black Ops 3, you have a vertical and horizontal sensitivity, um, but in general, I don't recommend using different sensitivities. To me, that just doesn't make sense. It'll throw you off like crazy. So just stick to one sensitivity for both of them. So if you're on a sensitivity of 5 or lower, what I recommend you guys should do is increase your sensitivity by one point and then play five games. And then while you're playing these games, you need to think about your aim. Is your aim improving? Is your aim staying the same? Is your aim decreasing? So first of all, if your aim is getting worse, go back to your sen sensitivity. You might even want to go in the opposite direction by lowering it one and then playing five more games. If your sensitivity is staying the same or improving, I would suggest moving it up another one and playing another five games. The reason you're doing it so gradually is because your sensitivity is a very sensitive thing. I didn't mean to say that pun, but it just sort of came out. But your sensitivity is... I really don't know how else to say this. Your sensitivity is a sensitive thing. What You, you don't want to go from one sensitivity to 14 sensitivity overnight. You're going to... It's not going to work. You want to move it gradually. And this is the easiest way to be honest with yourself to see if your aim is slipping. So... If your aim is getting better or maintaining the same, I recommend you just keep moving it up by one every like five, maybe ten games if you have a lot of time. But keep moving it up until the point where you feel that your aim is starting to drop. It might be very tempting because you're going up to RCT and you're turning on people a lot easier now. It might be very tempting to go higher and higher, but if your aim is dropping, you're really not going to help yourself at all. And you're going to be doing more harm than good. So if you feel your aim is starting to drop, um, stop at that sensitivity, even go back to the one that you were on before that. Um, and stick to that sensitivity. What you'll find is that when you play a sensitivity for a long time, you get really used to it, you'll be able to get like real good accuracy, and just playing with the same sensitivity over time is just gonna help, and that's just gonna make your aim even better. Like, when you get to the point that you're as comfortable with your new sensitivity as you were with your old one, and you have the same accuracy of aim, and it's a bit higher of a sensitivity, you're just automatically, your aim's gonna be better, because you have the same aim with a higher sensitivity, which is what you ultimately want. Now, on the other extreme, if you have a sensitivity of 9 or above, basically, I recommend you do the exact opposite of what we just did. So what you wanna do is you wanna go down one sensitivity, play five games, if you find it getting worse, go up, you might even wanna go higher after that, but if it's around the same, and you might even be getting better, then keep going down progressively, um, make sure you do it progressively, don't go up like too many sensitivities in a short amount of time, because that's not really gonna help you out. And again, be honest with yourself, I feel like it'll be less of an issue going down with sensitivity. I really don't think you're going to be having a problem. Um, get to that point where you can still turn on people, but you have a much better aim. And then, like I said, once you get used to your new aim, you're going to be so much better. You're going to aim so much better. You're going to win more gunfights. You're going to get higher kill streaks. You're just going to become a better player. And you'll notice that I didn't give you any advice if you're in sensitivity uh, 6 to 8. So the reason I did this is because I feel like this is the sweet spot. Ideally, this is the spot you want to be in, but it's not definite. Like... Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're a one sensitivity and you know you're on sensitivity, stick to that. Don't go to 7 just because I said that's the sweet spot. If you're a 14, again, stick with 14. Don't go to 7. But I feel like if you're in 6, 7, and 8, you're in a very nice sweet spot. And I think from there, you can sort of up your aim or decrease your aim. You might not go through a whole testing process like I just explained before. You might just think one day, you might be saying, you know what, I'm not able to switch targets real quickly, so I might just move this up to 8. Or if you're on 8, you might be like... You know what, at long ranges my aim's not really that good, I might move my sensitivity down to 7. And you don't really need to go on a testing process, because I think these three are sort of in that middle zone, you know. 7 is halfway between 14. What that means is you're in a balance between being able to turn on people and just having really accurate aim. And as long as you're in that sweet spot and you change within that sweet spot, I think you should be fine. And you should be able to change without having too much difficulty. Now the final way you guys are going to get better with your aim is just to keep playing. Um, especially now if you've changed your sensitivity, if you've gone through this process and you've found that your aim increases, then just stick with that aim, play with that for quite a while, your sensitivity will get better. I feel that in general in Black Ops 3 you want to increase your sensitivity by one or two points just because of all the thrust jumping, all the wall running and stuff, people are all over the place and having a high sensitivity is going to make you swap between targets better and just help you in the more crazy Call of Duty that Black Ops 3 is. So yeah, that's basically the reason that I moved up my sensitivity. Someone might lower their sensitivity from playing on Black Ops 3 and that's basically what I've been trying to tell you all video is that your sensitivity is very personal don't make us don't copy someone else's sensitivity just because they plan it and they're a good player that's not how it works you need to find your own sensitivity hopefully these tips that I've given you is gonna help you find that sensitivity if it does let me know in the comments below actually comment on this video what your current sensitivity is and if you change your sensitivity and you find that you have a better aim let me know what your new sensitivity is as well so, like I said, comment on this video. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please be sure to leave a like. It really helps me out. Also, share this video with your friends if you think they'll find it useful. I think a lot of them will. Click on the annotations at the end of this video, which will take you to my previous gun guides. As always, be sure to subscribe. My name is Justin Stay fresh, and I'll see you guys later.